Thank you everybody for tuning in. How are you doing? What's going on? It's your girl, Miss Smooth, coming at you again with another collective, okay? General reading for your human and spiritual experience, okay? Um, I hope everybody's doing good. Happy Monday. It's the beginning of April, which... It's April 3rd for me. Um, I'm not sure when you will see this video. It is timeless, okay? Um, Spirit led me to do a money reading, okay? Career and money reading, all right? Um, definitely am excited to see what Spirit has to tell us when it comes to your money, honey. Handsome, sweetie, okay? I hope everybody is doing wonderful. Thank you again for tuning in. I appreciate you. I appreciate the likes, the comments, the testimonies. You guys is really wonderful. Um, I'm lighting some Palo Santo and some cinnamon incense to get the money energy. If anybody doesn't know, look it up. Money definitely is an affiliation with uh, cinnamon. Okay, um, I have a little ritual I do on Thursdays for Cinnamon Thursdays. So if it's something that you're interested in doing, definitely email me and I will share what I do. Or you can just look it up and use your intuition. Okay, um, ancestors of a highest good and light, thank you so much for tuning into this reading. We welcome your presence for me in the collective. Thank you for uh, showing up and showing out. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing wonderful. Get your vibrations up. I'm starting this uh, Monday ritual called uh, Monday Mood Millionaire. All right, this smells so divine. I wish, I wish cameras had like a sensor where they could like allow you to smell if another person wanted to send you, send you a smell. <laughs> I know, I know, but anything is possible. You feel me? Anything is possible. Um, ooh, what am I gonna do? I hope this doesn't ash out. Anyways. Um, if you're new, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Have a seat. Get comfortable, boo. Get comfortable, handsome. Have a seat. Let's see what spirit want to talk about when it comes to your money, honey. Okay? This is not a regular schmegler video. Okay? This is not your regular pocket change money, wallet, a little bit of money in a bank account. No, this is Monday Mood Millionaire. Okay, let's check what this millionaire vibration spirit want to talk about. Okay, trying to grow up some millionaires, trying to boost people's vibration to believe that you deserve to have your cake and eat it too. Okay, because you got things to do, boo. All right, so let's see what spirit want to talk about. Okay, I'm going to start off with an oracle card from my beautiful people that always lifts my vibrations. I hope this is. Okay, um, money and the law of attraction cards. Yeah, it's all about your vibration by Esther and Jerry Hicks. Okay, so let's see what Spirit want to talk about. I really do love their channels on YouTube. Shout out to anyone who supports them. It really does help you look at things from a different perspective and realize that you are in control of your vibration, what you believe in. How you see your life turning out it all really starts with how you feel okay and so i'm here to encourage you guys to feel rich what is that noise i saw i heard something sparkling <laughs> um spirit is telling me i have this money oil i support this girl on youtube her name is called the money oil um, and her website is uh, Your Queen's Intention. Shout out to her. I don't know her, but I ain't going to lie. Her stuff is so pretty, so amazing. And I'm just shouting her out because I'm using it on the channel. And I feel like, you know, the smell is divine. 
She got all kind of cinnamon sticks in here. She got strips of money in here. She got some copper in here. You know what I'm saying? And I use these in my candles. I even put a nice money candle on the table for y'all that I created myself to bring in that energy of sparkle and shine. Everything is divine. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. Yes. All right. I'm glad Spirit told me to do that. My hands probably look ashy. <laughs> I just finished washing dishes and, you know, feeding my kids. So, thank you, Spirit. Let's shuffle one more time. Let's get this party started on this money train that I'm on. I hope you guys are jumping on. Okay, let's see what Esther and Jerry Hicks want to say. Let's go. Ancestors as above, so below. Thank you for your divine protection over our crown chakra, heart chakra, solar plex, and the souls of me and collective that is watching uh, feet as we pursue these beautiful million dollar dreams. Okay, let's go. Spirit, thank you so much. What oracle card? You got two. Why we gotta have two? Okay, I know I ain't running nothing. I feel you. I got you. You told me to do the reading. So let's do the reading. All right. So it says, welcome to... <laughs> I love spirit. Can y'all see that? Hold on. It says, I'm trying to get the glare. It says, welcome to planet Earth. You are here to seek joy. All right. All right now. So it says, if, we, if we're talking to you on your first day here, we would say... Welcome to planet Earth. There is nothing that you cannot be or do or have. What? You mean I can have anything I like? Didn't I say your cake and eat it too, boo? Yeah, I did say that. I did. So, Spirit is saying, you know, your work here, your lifetime career is to seek nothing but joy. Mm. That's why your money be funny, right? Because we're not happy and, and we get fearful and, you know, I got to have this job, you know, especially shout out to all you single parents out there, struggling mothers and fathers that one income and you being the best parent, you know how to be. Shout out to you. Okay. Um, as you think thoughts that feel good to you, you will be in harmony with who you really are. Shout out to married couples. I big ups marriage all day on this channel. Um, you know, to be able to take your ideas and someone else's ideas and agree for the bigger picture of the family and still be in love with each other, supportive. That's work too, yo. That's harmony right there. Okay, so shout out to married couples as well. Um... Spirit is saying that as you think thoughts that feel good to you, you will be in harmony with who you really are. And in doing so, you will realize your profound freedom. Seek joy first and all of the growth that you could ever imagine will come joyously and abundantly unto you. So joy, pump it up, pump it up and pain sunshine and rain keep it going keep it going now yo you gotta be from that ever to know that song <laughs> it was rap so it's not that that old okay it's it's back there but it ain't it ain't that old okay it ain't disco <laughs> all right so the next card says uh, my life is as good as I allow it to be. Yes, you have the control. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the matrix. Stay woke, okay? My people focus upon um, unwanted things with no deliberate attention to the emotional guidance within them. Mm. Let me read that again. My people focus upon unwanted things. With no deliberate attention to the emotional guidance within them. And then they try to compensate for their lackful thinking with physical action. So you try, you work harder thinking that you're going to ob obtain something that you feel you need. 
in order to be happy, in order to feel joy. Mm. All right, spirit talking, right? Hold on, y'all. Yeah, spirit said, leave that alone. I know you peeped it, but leave it alone. All right, so... um. And because of the misalignment of energy, right? They do not get results from their actions. So then they try harder. What I say? Work harder by offering more action. By still, but still things do not improve. Like the air you breathe, you get stressed out, overworked, underpaid, frustrated. And you just stay in that vibration. You get up and you do it all over again. Like the air you breathe, abundance in all things is available to you. Your life will simply be as good as you allow it to be. See, when you know the truth, when you know that you are abundantly taken care of, um, you don't. You don't live life from fear and you don't live life from fear and it's an S word. It's on the tip of my tongue. You don't live life from fear and trying to um, survive from fear and survival mode, right? You live life from abundance. You live life from joy. You live life from being happy. No, it does not look like what it is that you believe you deserve. But a lot of times when things happen, you embrace that moment because you see it, right? But the feeling comes from what you say you see right what you say you feel right so why can't you do that at any time if it brings you joy like for instance when I be washing dishes in my apartment which I'm very grateful for okay but my kids got me looking like uh-uh mommy we getting older we getting bigger we need more space now yeah I could go to a bigger apartment and pay somebody else's mortgage but that's not going to bring me my, that's not, that's not going to make me feel like I'm actually um, investing in me. I'm still investing in somebody else's property, right? Got me thinking just because they letting me know we getting bigger, we need bigger space. So why can't I get joy out of believing that I live in my own house? So me and my kids, what we do is we go on the internet, on YouTube, and we house tour in the areas that we want to live, showing them, getting together and enjoying that moment, spending time with them and just, this is, no, this is my room. No, that's your room. No. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Being that kid, being joy, being happy. Now, to some people, you may feel like, oh, you know, that's that's, that's make-believe. Yeah, but i rather make-believe and be joyous than to be depressed and frustrated, causing more stress to cause more internal issues to happen to me because I'm trying to figure out how to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Huh? When you could be in a happy mood, enjoying yourself, and spirit be like, okay, you ready. Here you go. Here's the opportunity. Whether it be across your TV screen, through a friend, email, something, a, a, a download, okay? As a star seed, y'all know what I'm talking about, all right? So spirit is definitely saying, listen, welcome to planet Earth. You are here to seek joy and nothing but joy, Okay? Find things that make you happy, right? Because as you do that, you realize your life is as good as you allow it to be. Because you realize you're the one in control of how I feel. And how I feel displays what I, what I live, what I see. Okay? So, spirit, 
want us to pull out some money blockages to see what's blocking your money. Okay, I'm pulling from this deck, if y'all can see. All right, money blocks affirmation deck. So let me see. All right, um, if you guys appreciate this truth, please let me know in the comment because I definitely will respond. You know, I'm learning just as you learn. I don't, I don't decide. I really don't. I don't decide what be said, what don't be said. I go with the messages and I am a portal, a outlet, a vibration for you on your spiritual and human experience. All right. I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to see you win. Okay. Because I'm already doing what the fuck I love doing. Sometimes I wonder where I get the energy, yo. But when you passionate, yo, my daughter just said to me, she said, I was telling the kids what to do after they finish eating. And she said, mommy, you ain't going to do the cards today. I took a long nap. I said, yeah, I had to rest. I had to take some time to myself because doing these readings pulls energy from you. But I just go back to source. I go back to divine. I go back to my ancestors. I listen to my higher self and my higher self say, take a nap. You know, when you was a kid, you hated your parents telling you to take a nap. But for me, at the age that I'm in now and doing the work that I'm doing, my life purpose, what I'm here for as a star seed, oh yeah, I'm taking a nap. I need to rejuvenate. I need to get downloads. I need to listen to my dreams. I need to use all of my abundance, my resources, my spiritual gifts to help me gain the momentum of doing what the fuck I want to do here on this universe. And it brings me joy because I know I have access to it by taking a nap, by sitting down and watching a movie with my kids or whatever it may be, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> you gotta start somewhere. You're not perfect, but you can immediately cause joy to come into your life. And you'll see that when you start feeling better, downloads, messages, opportunities come across your path just because your portal is open on that level of vibration to receive those good things. If you feel like I'm desperate, I'm tired, I'm frustrated, but you desire all these wonderful things that don't make you feel frustrated, how the hell you expect to get it if your vibration is all the way down here on frustration but the thing you desire is on paradise then you need to start including paradise and in how you feel in your everyday life what makes you happy what brings you joy start doing that shit like it's the motherfucking gasoline to your life okay <laughs> i'm telling you yo i love what i do i love motivating other people when i figured that shit out that was like joy you know finally realizing what you good at and you'll do it for free but i ain't doing it for free i i am offering private readings by the way you can check out the description box if you want a private reading okay but um even if i wasn't getting paid i'm doing it because i learned just like you learn okay hard work didn't i just talk about this you don't have to work overtime to be wealthy i make money easily do you see how easy that rolls off your tongue millionaire billionaire trillionaire okay hard work you don't have to work overtime to be wealthy i make money easily easily <laughs> Spirit talking, right? Let's go, Spirit. Let's go. <laughs> okay. You have no opportunity. Okay. There are many possibilities. The universe is unlimited. I get money in many unexpected ways. Yes, I add unexpected because even though you don't know where it's coming from, don't mean it don't exist. Even though you don't know that that situation exists, because you're not aware doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You're just not aware. And when you get that higher level of consciousness and become aware, then you start to see the things that you are aware of.
You know, a lot of you feel like I'm, I'm working hard and I don't see shit coming in. Keep saying that and that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> I work less and make more. Let's go. I work less and make more. Let's go. <laughs> I work smarter, not harder. Let's go. Anything else, Spirit? What else is blocking? Thank you. Only the rich. You feel like you underprivileged when you are a star seed, honey boo. You are a gold nugget to the bank of the universe. All right? You are resourceful. You are a portal for money to flow through you, to you, and from you, honey boo. Money isn't just for some people. It's for you too. I accept money freely and I spend money freely. No hindrance, no contract, no ties, okay? Just freedom. That's the problem. Somebody taught you along the way, a situation, circumstance taught you along the way that the money was only for the rich. That you got to be born with the silver spoon in your mouth. When you don't realize that you are the co-creator to the creator. Each and every one of us. There's just some who believe it. Some who don't. Okay? And then there's some who say, you know what? This is how I got it. And, and, and I know that I'm going to always have it like this. Okay? But nobody knows their tomorrows. You just hope. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we got going to hell. Mm. Okay. Rich people go to heaven too. Release your guilt. I live my dreams on earth. You only get one life. And I feel like the creator wants you to live that best life here. Because there's so many things that you are here to do. If you're sitting here with a purpose... And that means divine has to give you all the resources to live out that purpose by any means necessary. And you get to choose what level you want to live it on. All right. But it all starts with how you feel, what you know, what you believe, what you say is what you see. All right. Thank you, spirit. Sorry about that. I said put that right there. Okay. Got you. Copy that. <laughs> Copy that, spirit. All right? Copy that. All right. So, let me go ahead and pull some money mantras. Positive sides of things. You know, we're not sure what the blockage is. Was. No longer will be. Now that you're watching this news motivational tarot. Okay? Getting that mood million dollar Monday. Okay. <laughs> Affirmations. Gold nuggets. All right. That's why I put pyrite out here. All right. Use your resources. Get woke. Get woke. I have my bad days too. And I have to talk to myself. My higher self has to talk to me. And then I have to talk to the little girl in me. And let her know you are safe. No, honey boo, you ain't got to be scared. We never going back to what we've been through. That's why we got through it. We went right through. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah, it was tiresome. But the person you are today is not the person you was back then, scared and afraid. You have power. And you know who you are. You know where you come from. You know who, who's with you. My ancestors and my spirit guides is with me. Facts. All right. And y'all see that in my reading. Y'all see that in my life. Y'all see that in my post. I'm not just for show. No, ain't nobody paying me to do this. This is my ideas, my creation. Everything down to the name and the LLC. Spirit led me to step out on faith and do it. And you know what? I said, what do I have to lose to believe in myself? Nothing. Nothing. Nobody ain't going to believe in you the way you believe in yourself. Let me tell y'all something. When I first started my channel, Wake Up Collective, nobody was liking my videos. All right? I was liking them. I have another dispatching service called Mood Truck and Dispatching. 
All right. I was creating, I created this business before I created this business. And I would go from that YouTube page and come to this business and start liking my own, vis my own um, videos. Watching them, editing them, looking at it from your perspective to see what the audience sees when they see this. You know, how and an empath as a starseed, I can do that. That's why I can relate to picking up your energy when I do these readings, okay? I never disagree with spirit when they tell me to do a reading. What? Never. <laughs> Downloads, information, nuggets, okay? Money mantra, all right? I magnetize money instantly and effort, effort, effortlessly. I can't even say it. I magnetize money instantly and effortlessly. Okay? Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Everything you do, you did because you said you was going to do it. So why you can't do that? Because you don't see it? Because you never did it before? Your overthinking is creating blockages. It's time to take action. What's that action? Go fucking feel good and start speaking over your life right. Eventually, the action that you need to take by foot will either come to you or you will be guided to it. But you won't have to work so hard to figure it out. It's just going to be like flow organically. Even if you don't see the big picture, the fact that you have a faith of a mustard seed to believe in self, to believe in your higher self, to trust your intuition and go with the flow. You might have fun. If anything, I'm going to have fun. Is spirit telling me to do this? I don't believe that spirit is setting me up. A lot of bad things happened to me in my past that had me believing that. And that was a motherfucking lie. Spirit was holding my hand the whole way, guiding me, protecting me. And how many times I came to near death, not because I'm a shining street. I know the streets, but I ain't street. It was just the wrong kind of people who had to take care of me. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, Spirit wants to drop some nuggets to y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I just had to figure out how to get out of that and how to learn from that situation, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we're going to talk about it. My abundance never ends. A new door always opens for me, co-creator. Just say no to people pleasing. You see what the fuck I was just talking about? That's why I tell my story because I understand my purpose now. Why I went through those things so I can... Elevate people and encourage people and let them know, I too know your pain. You are increasing your skills, opening a path for wealth. You are. Even if you don't see how, you are. Okay? Just say no to extreme financial decisions. If it sounds too good to be true, don't jump in the boat. Get truth. Because what's for you is for you. You are strategically planning all of your goals, okay? Write that shit down. Write that dream. Write that vision. Just say no to wasteful thinking. Exactly. Wasteful thinking is I got to be working hard. There's never no opportunity. Only the rich. If I get too much money, I'm going to go to hell. What? <laughs> what? What, collective? I handle my finances with intention and purpose. Everything you do brings you joy. Whether you pay your bills, okay? Whether you take your kids out, if you have any. Whether you go take yourself to get pampered and treated. That's all part of the abundance flow. Whether you help somebody, if spirit leads you to help somebody. Okay? Yeah. All right? Yeah, Spirit said pull us on, put it right here. All right, stop the people pleasing. A lot of gold nuggets here. People, you be at your, and I'm going to tell you something. Those of you with a nine to five, you be at your job, and your job is good for this. Trying to put um, incentives in place to get you to work harder. Be the best. 
And then you start hoping and wishing that you get picked for the promotion, for more money, for a, a, a corner office. Who told you you had to compete for something that you already, you already born to have? What already belongs to you? You start desiring some shit you don't even fucking want. <laughs> Yo, okay? You are becoming more financially literate. Recognize the verbiage that's being spoken around you. People will have you dancing to the beat of their tune for their company, going on vacation while you're mandated to come to work. And I'm not saying that nobody don't need to work. I'm just saying that is that your life purpose? That's what you need to ask yourself. That's all I'm saying. If it's your life purpose to do that, then by all means, you on the right path. Path. Take what applies and let the rest fly. Let's go. I don't want to be here all day. <clears throat> okay. So, we're going to find out what your current energy is. What's your hidden energy? And what is advice from spirit? Okay? Your current energy is hard work. The hidden energy is you feel like there's no opportunity coming your way. Even though you're working hard. And your outcome is what you believe the old way. But after watching this video, you're not going to think like that. Is only the rich keep getting richer. Right? Money isn't just for pe for some people. It's for everyone. You are an abundant being. Okay? You are abundant. Point blank. There's no buts, ends, or anything. You are abundant. That's it. Okay? So, <clears throat> let's clarify. Spirit, hard work. What do you want to clarify and advise Current energy for collective that's watching when it comes to hard work. Thank you. Page of Cups. Mm-hmm. Spirit is saying it's time for you to think about what makes you happy with the Page of Cups. Okay. Spirit, can you clarify what's hidden? As they pursue what makes them happy... What is hidden? Please and thank you. What is hidden? What is coming towards them? What will they find on their path as they pursue what makes them happy? Please and thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Queen of Cups. How you go from the fucking Page of Cups to the Queen of Cups? Spirit is saying you are going to be more abundant and beautiful and handsome and nurturing and happy. Wow. Some of you don't even know what happiness is. All work, no play. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. That's advice from Spirit. Thank you. Start this new journey. Listen, let me tell you something. Even if you got to keep your job right now and... Maybe you want to do something different, you know? I got involved with the trucking business because I knew I needed an alternate route. I needed a backup plan, especially when COVID hit. And I realized also, I hate people telling me how to come to work and dress, how to, you know, when I could take my lunch break, when I could eat, when I could sleep, when I could, you know, um, the hustle and bustle as a single parent, dropping your kids off at school, catching a, you know, traffic or whatever the case may be, trying to get to work on time. I was stressed by the time I got to work because of the stuff that I had to deal with on a daily basis. I was burnt out after seven years on a government job. And I stepped out on faith and this lady offered the opportunity for me to learn how to start my own dispatching services. Okay. Getting into the trucking business, even though I don't have any idea. And I, I always wanted to, but I thought you needed to have some type of background and I found out you don't. Mm -mm. 
you know, and then being a dispatch agent, you, you could work for yourself and take your money off top because you don't own nobody. They paying you to dispatch. Just a, just a little cue out there. I didn't know that. You see what I'm talking about? When you start dibbling and dabbling and investigating that page of swords, being curious, hmm, looking at things from, you know, a different point of view. That's what I offer now. Now I have my own dispatch training course class that you could take for $199. Getting all the information that you need with question and answers at the end. And if you want to start your dispatching service company with mentorship, walking you through step to step, we do that too. For, you know, it's a combo package. You could do both. And I have all that description on Mood Truck and Dispatching Services website. Okay? Mood hyphen dispatching dot com. Okay? That's all you have to do is Google me. I'm Google. Okay? <laughs> and if you're interested, I don't have a problem walking you through. But you need to find something that's going to allow you to start to feel happy so you can nurture yourself and feel like, you know what, now I know what I'm here for, whatever that may be. But what you're doing now, hard work, no opportunity, and feeling like only the rich is making it, yeah, that's not a good feeling to live the rest of your life out trying to, and what what you either going to do is you just going to be stagnant and complacent and get comfortable and be unhappy. And the job is not going to do nothing but cause you to have ulcers, you know, all kinds of things just from stress. Spirit is saying the six of coins and the king of cups. When I see a divine counterpart, you desire, you desire partnership. We have a new pink full moon in Libra, which is ruled by Venus. And that's all about partnerships, whether it's intimate, business, whatever. Come partner with me. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Take this new beginning. Get that equal give and receive that you deserve. Feeling valued, you know, feeling like you're investing in yourself. Okay, yeah, I'm talking about it. Whether it be with me or somebody else, but you got to do something. The cards don't lie. All right, at the bottom of the deck, I can't make this shit up. Ten of motherfucking coins. Do y'all see that shit? The glare is there, but it's there. All right. Spirit is not playing. Spirit is not playing. I'm putting that shit right there because spirit wants to talk about it. Let's pull out these gold foil cards and get some clarity on this page of cups, queen of cups, king of cups, equal give and take. Spirit is saying you have the opportunity to partner with the right people who believe and want the same thing that you want. Freedom. Power financially stability financial um stabilization thank you sir okay i knew the ashes was gonna do that i'll clean it up yeah clean your energy you need to clean your energy the toxic people that you work around mm -mm. okay just over broke j-o-b y'all know what i'm talking about okay thank you spirit all right at the bottom of the deck, we have, look, victory is yours, the Six of Wands. I can't fucking make this shit up, and I'm not trying to. I'm just here, Miss Mood, bringing a message, cleaning up. When I finish and go about my merry day, happy as a motherfucker, because I follow what Spirit told me to do. <laughs> Opportunity. When you help other people, you help yourself. You don't even realize that. But I didn't do this because I was trying to help myself. Actually, I was. I was like, what am I here for? When you start doing what you're here for, you help others and you help yourself. Six of coins. Okay? Equal give and receive. Spirit, can we clarify the page of cups? Can we clarify the page of cups? What is coming to collective with this page of cups? Let me keep going through. These cards is crazy, okay? <laughs> you never know where you coming, where money coming from, but it's coming. Queen of Pentacles. I can't make this shit up. Queen of Pentacles. Can y'all see that? I hope y'all can see that. Queen of Pentacles, okay? This is somebody that desires 
to enjoy life and receive what they do processes. This is somebody that wants to go out and utilize the resources that are coming in and watch shit grow, okay? The Queen of Pentacles is somebody that nurtures, appreciates, okay? And enjoys what they do. And I feel like with the Page of Cups, that's what you wanna do. You're looking for something that will allow you to have fun, be prosperous, and not work so hard. Not work so hard, yo. Can we clarify the Queen of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. Not work so hard. What I say, look at the motherfucking sun. Spirit said that's the motherfucking truth, okay? Victory, the six, we saw the six of wands, now we see in the sun. Some of you could be a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> I be getting hype and moving all around. Okay. Um, let's talk about the no opportunity. So Spirit is saying that you need to start nurturing yourself with your words, with your checking your vibration at all times, loving on yourself regardless of the circumstance around you because it's subject to change. You are the page of cups to the queen of cups to the king of cups. That sounds like a whole motherfucking family working, 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 okay? Trying to keep it together, trying to stay together, trying to stay happy, all right? And Spirit is saying, you know, you got the Three of Pentacles. You looking for that type of um, partnership where you feel like you're home and you're doing something you love doing and you're getting paid and you're learning. You still want all the things. You don't mind putting in the work, but you want to feel like you're getting, out, you're getting that equal investment with the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Coins, all right? You got the three of pentacles. People do want to work with you. Start saying that. People do want to work with me. People do want to um, invest in me as I invest in them. Okay? I am more than enough. I have a lot to offer. I bring a lot to the table. I am meeting the right kind of people to help me elevate in this lifetime. Let's go. Can we clarify the Three of Pentacles, please and thank you? Spirit is saying that you want to work and do something that you are in love, that makes you feel good, that makes you feel happy and balanced, okay? And Spirit is saying messages are coming in. People are wanting to work with you. Are you willing to pay attention? Are you willing to really look at things from a, a level of this is my opportunity, this is my sign, this is confirmation? Okay, wands, okay, eight of wands, all right, abundance is here coming through. This is why I love the color coordination that spirit told. All of this, y'all don't realize when I do this, when I did this candle, I didn't even know that I was going to do this spread with these cards. I just, being creative, stickers and glitter, <laughs> I had glitter all on my fingers, okay? Y'all see the candle? All right? Yeah. This all for y'all. Because I love y'all. And I love me. I do this for myself and anyone else who enjoys it. I want them to feel good. I want them to feel inviting. I want them to feel wonderful, okay? I want you to feel abundant in this moment right now. Okay? And so spirit is telling you that these messages are coming in from people who do want to work with you. You need to start telling yourself that, okay? <clears throat> that came out. What about this king of uh, cups? This is a balance. Spirit is saying that you need to be balanced when you nurture yourself. And you need to, te you need to be around people. Make decisions of who you allow around you with the king of cups. Checking your energy at all times. Yep. Yeah? With the five of swords. All right. Really figuring out who does not belong. Who is not on your team. Can we clarify the five of swords? 
some people are not for you and you need to figure that out it has nothing to do i thought i saw yeah see it has nothing to do with um look at all of that it has nothing to do with them hating you or being a bad boss it has everything to do with um you really seeing things for what the fuck they are with the clarity card the hermit okay really seeing things for what they are spirit is saying don't be you know don't be ready to get angry and upset with people with the five of swords ready to fight look at things from a different perspective go within and realize what this what the problem really is what is the root what is the root to the problem of you being in balance with your happiness, being in balance with yourself, being confident with who the fuck you are? What is the root, Spirit? What is the root? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I was about to, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us, Spirit, tell us. What is the root? What is the root? What is the root to them, you know, getting the type of energy that they're getting in the place that they are? Okay? Spirit is saying because you stuck. You stuck with the hangman. Sorry. I don't take reversals, by the way. Because the story going to come out. If the blockage is there, it's going to show. Okay? Spirit is saying that you feel stuck. Okay? You're, 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 you're not thinking outside the box. You feel stuck. Right? Trying to get that clarity. Trying to get that perspective. And the root of it is that you're not moving. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't looking for nothing. You just... Talking the shit, talking the, the negative talk, and that's exactly what's coming out every day that you go back to work. You're just reliving what you're saying, okay? But spirit wants you, spirit wants you to to really have faith and trust that what you want is out there for you with the six of coins. All right, it's not just for the rich. <laughs> you're rich too. Let's go. Can we clarify the fool and the six of coins? What's your advice, Spirit? As they go out and take this journey, as they trust and have faith, what is the outcome of the six of coins? Please and thank you. Please and thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Look, I can't make this shit up. I can't and I won't. Spirit is saying, you will see that you are on the path to receiving the Ten of Pentacles, fulfilling your legacy. You will learn and grow. You will see things with when you when you go on this new journey, when you step out on faith, the the veil will be lifted. A whole new world. A whole new fucking world, y'all. I can't make this shit up. A whole new world. Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. And then you got the Ten of Coins right here. That's what Spirit is saying. You don't realize that this is actually, you're on this path. This is why you're receiving all of these negative emotions and, you know, the, the, the backlash at work or, you know, just the, I'm unfulfilled. It's like a, it's like a, 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 a war within. It's like a war within, yo. Yes. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else for the collective? Please and thank you. <laughs> Spirit is saying you need to take the stick and you need to start doing what you got to do with the King of Cups. You need to start getting creative because you are a natural born creator, co-creator. You got the King of Cups and you got the Page of Wands. Okay. A new opportunity is being placed before you. Are you emotionally balanced enough to believe that this is for you? Whatever that may be. <laughs> Spirit is not playing today. Spirit, anything else you want me to advise the collective? Spirit is saying pull a couple of questions and end up the reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really appreciate you tuning in to Mood Millionaire Mondays, okay? Monday Millionaire Mood. I don't know how you want to say it, but that's what it is, okay? It's the three M's, M, M, M. Go look up the letter M and the symbolism of it, okay? Um, is there anything about this person that I can't see or understand clearly? You talk about yourself. That's your higher self telling you. 
All right, the number 27 can be significant to you. 27 breaks down to the number nine. The number nine means that you are on the brick of starting a new chapter. You are on the brick of coming into some clarity, okay? Anything else, Spirit? Anything else for the collective? Please and thank you. You are a millionaire. You are a billionaire. You are a trillionaire. You have these beautiful ideas that you're sitting on and you don't realize that you are fated to receive this with the Ten of Coins and the Will of Fortune, right? You don't see this because you're having this conflict within, with the Two of Wands, okay? And the Five of Swords, you're cutting down the dream. You're cutting down the answers before they come to you because of your vibration, the way you talk to yourself. You need to start celebrating yourself and celebrating what you're capable of with the King of Wands, being a natural born leader. Okay? And yeah, it is frustrating trying to change your verbiage. But as you spend time in isolation with your higher self, that shit will be diffused. You will see the opportunities come towards you with the page of coins. All right. And you're going to you're protected. Spirit is saying you are protected. Your partnerships are protected and you know the damn truth. Seek the truth. Seek the clarity. Get that. And as you do that, walls will come tumbling down and you'll start to see things with more clarity and understanding. OK. And that's when you start to connect with the right kind of people to build your wealth. When I say the right kind of people, I'm talking about your soul, um, your soulmates, your tribe. If you guys enjoyed this reading, thank you so much for choosing to watch it. I appreciate you watching Miss Moon's Motivational Tarot, where I'm here to inspire you, collective. I love y'all. I want y'all to win. And I'm so grateful that spirit and humbled that spirit led me to do this reading for you. I send y'all nothing but abundance, light, and love your way to infinity and beyond, okay, with the number eight. <laughs> okay, I love you, collective. Mwah. Namaste. Bye.